G'day everyone, back for another day of bus converting. Um, I actually have quite a few hours to spend on the bus today, so I was hoping to be able to get the whole ceiling down, but it is forecast to be 37 degrees and it is already warming up and it's only like nine o'clock in the morning. So I don't think I'm gonna get it all done, but today I want to at least um, disconnect the lights and the speakers and air vents and things that are in the ceiling panels get them off um, I might have a go at getting getting some of the ceiling panels down I'll just have to see how I go because I think it's going to be really hot the joys of working on a bus in Queensland summer yay <laughs> I don't recommend it So this is what I'm going to start working on today. So as you can see, there's a few speakers, um, there's these lights in the roof, they're all just screwed in. So it should be quite easy to, to get them unscrewed and then I just have to disconnect the wires. I'll make sure I disconnect the starter batteries um, before I do it, just to be safe. And then I'm also going to take out these air vents as well, which are all just screwed in. I'm actually going to hold on to these um, because I'm thinking I may actually use some of those again in my build so i won't throw any of this stuff away i may even end up um replace like putting these lights back in as well they run off the bus batteries um but it might be handy just to keep them since they're already wired in place if i can pull them out without damaging any of the connections I'm not actually sure yet how these panels are attached it looks like if I come up here I'll be able to show you some of them have got these button type things so hopefully it'll just be a matter of looks like these ones are screw on so unscrewing those maybe popping this off I might have to pop the trim off first so the first job is to disconnect all the electrical stuff okay so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here the first thing I do is I just unscrew these two little screws holding the cover on that's fairly simple yep. and then this one here just make sure you hold holding the cover up a bit as you do it so it doesn't drop down and break cover off and that's what it looks like underneath so the next thing to do is unscrew these screws that are holding on the light and they're coming out really easily which is nice want to make sure that you support the weight of the light as you do the last one so it doesn't fall down because it's going to be attached by the wire that's coming out through here so you want to try and put the least amount of tension on that wire so you can see the insulation there in the ceiling and this is the little connection that's connecting this fixture to the wall to the wires in the ceiling and all you do is you can see here this end will pull out so you just need to press on this little bit on the bottom here and pull it out yeah so just pull that out and there it should click out so that's it so hopefully if I can just make sure I don't damage these when I'm pulling down the rest of the ceiling. If I want to reuse these lights, I should just be able to reconnect them there and screw them back in um, to the ceiling frame just there. Anyway, I'm not sure if I will reuse them, but at least by preserving that, I'm you know leaving it open as an option.
first attempt at trying to get this trim off was a bit of a failure. Um, you can see the clips that are holding the trim in um, into the frame of the ceiling and I tried to pry, pry this off with just a screwdriver. Um, and I mean that worked, it came off, but in the process it actually bent the trim. So I wouldn't be able to reuse this again. Um, so I didn't want to do that with the rest of the trim because especially in the front section of the bus I wanted the option to be able to reuse this um, for that front panel that I want to keep over the air conditioner. So I have to give a shout out to the guys in the coaster groups on Facebook, especially Aussie Coaster Mates and the um, Toyota Coasters owners group because I asked in there if anyone had any tips as to how to get these things off without wrecking the trim um, and quite a few guys pointed me in the direction of Super Cheap where they have these trim remover tool sets. Okay, So you can see where this piece of cover trim was, here's one of the clips still in the ceiling, see that's the sort of clips that are holding them in. So with this special clip remover tool I was able to get in there and lever off those pegs without without breaking anything. And then once I got that cover trim piece off, then I'm able to get this center panel down. So I'll take this piece down and then I'll do the next piece of cover trim and so on and so forth. And so yeah, fantastic um, tip from the guys in the coaster groups to get these tools because they definitely make the job a lot easier and I was able to get those pieces off without damaging them at all so thanks guys So despite the heat yesterday, I actually managed to get quite a bit done. I got the ceiling panels and the air conditioning ducts from the roof of the coaster completely out, uh, which was good. And today I'm going to start working on getting rid of the insulation off the ceiling, which is not going to be a fun job. Um, and it's another hot day, so we'll see how we go. But um, I'm making good progress so far, so I'm just going to keep going and see how much I get done. So this is what the ceiling looks like without the panels covering it. So you can see that's all the insulation there. And at the front of the bus, this contraption is actually the air conditioner and I plan on keeping that because it works really well. I'm probably just going to put back the original panel that was there because it's a really awkward shape, this area, and that panel is perfectly molded to fit and I don't think I'm going to have much success trying to cover that with something else. The panels perfectly fits the size, it's lightweight so it just makes sense to put it back um, given that I'm keeping this aircon and won't be needing the space for storage or anything. Um, so I'm going to put that front section back but then the rest of the ceiling I'll be lining with probably ply or something else I haven't quite decided yet um, but today I'm going to start taking out this insulation um, there's a couple of reasons for this um, one of the big ones is that it's extremely flammable um, I've seen videos on Facebook where people have put a match near it and it just goes up ridiculously fast. So that's something to consider when it's going to be in a motorhome where there's going to be lots of electrical gear um, and other things happening. The other reason is that it's just apparently not a great insulation to begin with. Um, and you can see the way it's been installed. I mean, there's lots of gaps. It's just in there pretty loosely. So it's, you know, it's not going to be doing much as it is now. So I just want to replace it with some really good quality insulation. Um, and also I want to I want to visualize the underneath of the roof because I want to make sure that this bus has, has got no rust before I start um, building my house inside it. So that's why I'm going to get rid of this stuff. 
Um, it's apparently not particularly easy to get rid of because <laughs> it's um, glued in a lot of places. Um, but anyway, we'll give it a go. We'll see how we go. stage is done I managed to get um, most of the bulk of the insulation out just by pulling off by hand but there's obviously still a lot stuck on with glue so I may even end up putting like a wire brush wheel on the end of my drill and seeing if because I've seen a few people do it that way but I'm just going to do it by hand first and see what I can get off so unlike my big bus which had a fiberglass roof the roof of the coast is solid metal and it's quite thin but you can see underneath the insulation, it all looks really clean with no evidence of rust at all. Um, the frame looks really good all the way down. I mean, even here where you can see where there's the, the seam, the join between the roof panels, there's often a source of leaks, but there's no evidence of any rust underneath that at all. Um, and same with the one at the front. So I'm really happy with that. I did try having a go at removing a bit more of the fluff that was still stuck to the roof using the wire brush on the end of my drill. And that did actually work quite well. But the problem is it, it's also scratched the metal on the ceiling. So I decided I didn't want to do that at all because obviously my roof is in pristine condition at the moment and it's coated with a nice um, protective paint finish already and the last thing I want to do is you know scratch all that protective coating off so I've just decided that I'm just going to leave the remnants of the insulation fluff that are still stuck to the ceiling it's only a very small amount I don't think it's going to cause any problems and I can just put my foil board insulation straight over the top of it it was a good couple of days work to get the ceiling down. It's looking good and I'm really happy that so far I haven't found any major rust.